Clyde Butcher is a Florida-based photographer, black and white, and probably one of the country's best photographers, uh, very well known. Using his medium format, line. he gets some huge photos. We're yeah. talking mural size. Now, he is selling a lot of books with his prints in them. Books, calendars. Calendars. If you're in um, the Venice area, I highly yes. recommend stopping by. That's Venice, Florida. Highly recommend stopping by to visit his darkroom. If you're down in the Everglades on the western side, stop at the Big Cypress Gallery. I highly recommend seeing his uh, gallery down there. There's a gallery at uh, Venice as well, he and his wife Nikki. So this was taped uh, 11 years ago, uh, but it hasn't been aired on YouTube, so we wanted to share this with you. This is Clyde and his dark room. Yes. And... Um, and and the the best thing now originally the dark room was at the Big Cypress, and then they decided to move to Venice. Mm -hmm. They wanted to keep him a little well, closer lives, to the rest of his family. Yeah, that's well, where he, he lives, lives now in Venice. In he Venice. lived at the Big Cypress, right? And this was also uh, the uh, interview was with our uh, buddy Jim Shadle. So right. Hope you enjoy. It's not an instamatic type of camera. Oh, you use the cheap lenses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a typical uh, $5,000 lens. Right. I've got one of those, but it's a whole lot bigger. A telephoto. What angle of view do you get to that size? Uh, 100, this is 105, 110 degrees. You doing that? Oh, yeah. Wow. That's why it's expensive. I guess so. Well, oh, let's see. Focus it. You know what? I, um, do, do you keep your uh, gear in uh, some warm area in your home? Or? Oh, um, I keep it air conditioned. Uh, I don't care how warm I keep my gear, I fog every time I go into the swamp or in the morning. Oh, sure. It's all part of the fun. Mm. <laughs> Try to photograph with this with the. Oh, I could. Yeah, uh, that's what made me think. Uh, everything going. Oh, that's coming in. Okay. There you go. Yeah, Let's keep it warm there. and get there early. Let's see, we got to turn it a little bit. This is a pretty neat ball head. $35 for Bowen Bowl, uh, from uh, Oak Bogan. They don't make it anymore. It was a uh, head to. Oh, they don't? Because I'm using one like that. Oh, like a free movie camera, maybe. Oh, well, I use it as a leveling base. That's what it is for. Right. Right. It's a leveling base. Yeah. They don't make it anymore, though. This guy came too cheap. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'll see. Well, that's a pretty, uh, pretty impressive perspective. Take a look. Oh. <laughs> wow. the whole thing, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You should have dropped a little bit of coin. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. The film, each film holder, uh, costs 500 bucks. Be a special occasion to bring that out. Well, I'm taking this to Death Valley with me. Okay. Oh, yeah. But then also, I'm taking my 5x7. Like this, <laughs> this has got the camera, six lenses, filters, and everything in this little bag. It didn't hardly weigh anything. 
That doesn't weigh as much as really. That doesn't weigh as much as a camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's got six lenses. <laughs> Do that in 35 millimeter, and you got a lot more weight. Yeah. The uh, so like we can do up to. I'm gonna turn it on. Two. I would put a 12 and 20 neck. Wow. Angel <laughs> first came out. You could get a print that size, which is less than negative. Yeah. Well, the problem is with photography, you need a bigger negative, and you do a digital. Now, this is a negative. You can usually make a 30, 40 foot print. <laughs> that is, you can see every little thing in it. Now, um, say, say you digitize that. Mm -hmm. okay. Would you get uh, be able to get a bigger print off the, the chemical, or would you get a bigger print? Uh, you can get a bigger print off the digital. Okay. Because uh, you, you get all that information. Well, you're going through a diffused light source. Okay. Uh, funky, li funky lens. Okay. Okay. Um, it's yeah. It's um, so you capture more detail. Um, I can go at least twice as big digitally on a, on that on the same size negative. Negative. Right. Wow, that's really that's interesting. Like I can do a six foot print from five to seven negative, where I can only do maybe a four foot from the negative. Ooh, wow, that's really that's cool. Yeah. yeah, and even the four foot won't be as sharp as the six foot. Wow. So. Uh, I imagine uh, uh, this is yeah. this is too, uh, this is basically the first part of Photoshop. Uh, the paper uh, has two layers of emulsion. Okay. This is a high contrast, and then this is a low contrast. So you can actually expose in two different exposures. Mm -hmm. If you want to dodge, say you've got it's yeah. too flat, you want more contrast. You can dodge an area, and then when you do the blue, it'll be more contrast. Or if an area has too much contrast, you can dodge the blue. Which I also do in Photoshop. Because yeah, we're doing that in Photoshop uh, too. In, uh, different channels? No. Layers. Just different layers. Yeah. With the eraser. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I've developed uh, sneaky ways of, of not. Uh, I don't save anything. So I don't save layers. People. I just do things. And because a lot, of, most, a lot of my techniques, you've got to flatten as you go, or it won't work. Well, I would imagine that it's a pretty huge file. Oh God, some of them are slow. I was working the other day. I had four gigs in the in the file. That's, that's a big file. <laughs> Is that before you flattened it? That's before I flattened it. It was so a gig when you were. It was six hundred megs. The image was six hundred megs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's huge. Yeah. Well, my typical five by seven is. To, to quality is 400 megs. A 11 by 14 is about two gigs. Wow. How long does it take to scan 11 by 14? It takes uh, an hour. An hour? That's not too bad, really. Just go, go bicycling or something. Yeah. <laughs> go away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's a whole different world. But it's a really exciting world. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. I've got some printing out right now. Yeah, I still miss looking at a, a, a sleeve of a Velvia, you know. Yeah, I never shot transparencies. Yeah. I don't know why people shoot transparencies. Uh, do for publications. You don't need any more. No, 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 no. I'm talking about back in the day. I know. But negatives are so much more exciting than a transparency. It's so much more tonal range. And way more tonal range. Yeah. I don't, and if people still shoot with those bloody transparencies, I don't know. Yeah, the, Where they're coming from. Yeah, the only reason I, I shot them is because that's what a publisher wants. Right. Uh, but now, uh, digital. They want to scan. They want a CD. <laughs> yeah, you, right, right. Or, or just email me a low res and I'll right. see if I like it or not. Right. And then, so it, it, it is a different world. It saves a lot of transparencies getting lost. <laughs> well, uh, and then make sure you've uh, got uh, a, a backup and a backup at another location oh, and yeah. your firewall and your virus protection. And so, well, I have film. <laughs> that's all you, that's, you can't get better back than that, can you? So I can always start over. <laughs> a lot of times I do start over because I scanned it wrong. Because there's, there's tricks in scanning, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to, to scan it. Yeah, this was it's kind of a show the difference in contrast. Working up a print. This is basically straight, and this is kind of towards the final. Little subtleties, you know. How long does it take? Say, you, say you're doing a... A big print usually takes from beginning to end about a week. 
Um, and uh, how much time dodging and burning actually on the uh, well, the, the big uh, pepper wood takes uh, ten minutes of exposure. Uh, here, yep, we got people burning, got dodging. Usually on big pictures, you have two or three people. You have to. You, know, See, you dodge that tree, and I'll take this area. And you take that area. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. got it all planned out ahead of time. Then. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then it doesn't work. You try something else. Right. Oh well. That's a but big what I'm doing now, now, which is interesting though, since I've developed techniques in uh, digital darkroom like this, if I'm having a problem with a negative, I'll go in the digital darkroom, do the thing, write the notes down bring those notes in here. Saves you a lot of money on Well, also time. <laughs> time. Yeah. Um, instead of maybe three or four days, it might take two hours. Wow. Oh, I see. That's, that would be you know, a big savings in time. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of pain. Because it takes an hour to process the chemistry. Then you got to dry it before you can look at it. Right. <laughs> so a test takes about an hour and a half. Right. And then four foot by six foot of paper is not cheap. Well, you go through maybe eight or nine tests, right. you know, at least. That's why we have all these monitors too. So we can do many tests at one time. Oh, okay. Good. So I'll have maybe seven or eight negatives going at once. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit of a open mind to be able to keep it all balanced. <laughs> I, would, I would think so. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. That's a uh, pretty, this is, I don't know if it's dark and much like this in the United States, I don't think. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't think so. The trays are in that room there. The trays are, the biggie trays here. Oh yeah, they're a little bigger than the trays I used to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now these are keeping the box nice. Oh, that's an awesome idea. Because there's, you know, about eight to ten gallons of chemistry in there. So you don't want to just throw it away. Yeah. But the developer, if you, you really can't say more than about two or three days. Even though we use a developer that has a anti-oxidation unit, but still you can't keep it. That's why it's empty. And there's water metals is why they got this. There's how we process the pictures. They can see roll on from one side to the other. The reason that we use this is they, they don't uh, absorb the chemistry and it keeps it, it wow. floats and it keeps it off the bottom of the trays so it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. I would have thought it would have absorbed it. No, it's, it's a close fill cell phone. Otherwise, you get contamination. Oh, yeah. 